guys and welcome to another in-depth video. Today I am focusing solely on how to make your bed look and feel luxurious. This is something that can be overlooked but it makes such a great impact when it comes to the quality of sleep. So the main things I want to focus on is first, you know, you have to have a solid foundation in everything that you do and that applies to your bed as well. So making sure you have a good bed frame as well as a fantastic mattress will really go a long way in helping your sleeping experience. So, you know, when you work with Pine Oven Construction and Interiors, we highly recommend that you let us also do your furniture so that we make sure that you have the best foundation. Now. You know what else matters is what you put on top of your foundation. So when it comes to bedding, sometimes cheaper is easier to find, but it's not usually the best decision in the long run because wear and tear, you have to think you're going to be washing your bedding frequently. So you want to invest in something high quality from the get-go. And we all know the experience of having a scratchy blanket. So no matter how well your bed is made, you're just not going to be comfortable. Another thing is you have to think of your bed as a visual component in a room. So when you walk in, obviously it's going to be one of the major pieces in your bedroom. So you want it to be attractive and add some decor into your room. So play around with textures and patterns just to make it look a bit more interesting. Of course, keeping in mind the decor of the entire room. The final thing that I think will really help in making everyone more willing to wake up and actually make their bed is making it easier for you to do that process. So the major thing I have learned is the placement of your bed really matters. So you need to make sure that you have access to at least three sides of your bed. So both sides and the bottom end. That way you can easily move around as you make your bed. So let's get into how to make a bed look this incredible. So what you want to start off with is a mattress cover. I know that we usually think that the only reason you'd need a mattress cover is if you have a child who is still at that age where they're wetting their bed, but it's very important to just cover your mattress and protect it from any sort of dirt. And if it does get dirty, it's so much easier to take this off and clean it than having to clean out your entire mattress or have a special a person come in to actually clean your mattress. Once you have your mattress cover on, the next layer is the bed sheet. Now, I've mentioned that you need to invest in the type of beddings that you get and this is one of the most vital parts the last thing you want is to lay down and have an uncomfortable surface and also it really helps that once you wash your beddings things like your bed sheet or even your duvet they tend to have wrinkles on them so if you can iron it out it'll just elevate how your bed looks So if you've ever encountered a situation like this where maybe you bought bed sheets that are too big for the mattress, don't fret, we have a solution. It is highly recommended that the overhang comes to the base of the bed. So don't try and have it at the top and try and stuff it in. Just bring everything to the end of the bed and then you can neatly tuck it in. So what you wanna do is grab it by the corner, just neatly smooth it out and at a 45 degree angle, just fold it in, creating a very neat fold, and then go ahead and start tucking it in. And you can see that the result is a very neat end. And then finish off the tucking in. Now that you've invested in your beddings, you want to make sure that you are protecting them. So the way to do this is by including another layer that is often ignored, and that is a top sheet. What this does is it protects your sheet and also protects your duvet from any sort of dirt or grime that might touch them. So let's put on the top sheet. Yeah. 
now that you have all those layers neatly set down, the next thing you wanna put on top is your comforter or your duvet. In this case, it's going to be a duvet and I will demonstrate how neatly all these elements are going to work together. So here we have our duvet. It's now going to go over the top of the top sheet and then we're going to fold it neatly and have that luxe feel that we're all looking for. So depending on how many pillows you prefer to have on your bed, be it decorative or something more practical, you will for fold it accordingly. So for this particular instance, I'm going to fold it about a quarter of the way down because we do have a number of pillows that we want to place on this bed. So start off with your duvet, just neatly fold it on either side. With that done, I think everyone can see this bed doesn't have a lot going on and that's fine. There's a lot of people who prefer to have crisp, white, clean sheets on their bed and that doesn't mean that your bed has to be boring. So this is where you'll see elements of texture and color coming in to create pattern and just make your bed look more interesting so you can keep your base white and now I'll show you how you can put in those interesting features. So here we have a throw that can actually be, actually be functional, but you can also add a runner just for aesthetic value. Do you see how the addition of this throw just completely transforms the bed, but of course we're not done. You have to add in pillows. I mentioned that for this bed, we do want to have decorative pillows. That the that, that is the client's preference, so let's get to that. So now you can see how all those elements I talked about earlier have come together to create a very beautiful looking bed and it looks so lush. Honestly, I cannot see how you would get a bad night's rest on a bed like this. The only thing that could top this is maybe just a spritz of a calming scent, something like lavender, and that will just add to the ultra luxurious feel in your bedroom. Of course, every room has its own considerations. Right now, we're in the guest bedroom where we've kept things relatively simpler than we did in the master bedroom. So for this room, you can follow the exact instructions as the master bedroom, but as I said, we've made this very simple. So we did make sure to have an incredible base, and I'm proud to say, this one is customized by Fine Urban Construction and Interiors. We have a great base, we have a great foundation, the mattress is incredible. We've already put down our mattress cover, we have our sheet on, so all that's left to do is to put on the pillows and the duvet. So the main point is making sure that your guest is going to be comfortable. And since you can't guess if someone wants a bed that's more practical or more decorative, it's easier to go the practical way because more, more than likely they're gonna wanna come in and just get some rest. And it's always good to find a well-presented bed because you always feel so welcome.
a child's idea of what luxury is is very different from everybody else so keeping that in mind you have to make sure that their room is somewhere that brings them so much joy because for them the only thing that matters is being happy walking into a room and seeing all the things they love and that's why for this room we went with some graphics you can see we have uh, wall art but now that we're fo focusing on the bedding we also made sure to take their favorite cartoons onto the bedding. So that, for a child, will be the height <laughs> of their experience walking into their room. So we can see, we went with Paw Patrol, <laughs> if you can recognize this, I'm sure a lot of kids at home enjoy that. We went with Paw Patrol for the bed sheets and for the duvet and pillows, you got this really bright and exciting Ben 10 cover. So let's put that on. Now you can see the complete product and I am sure there's a couple of kids, if they saw this, they'd be super excited and that's the goal for each and every room. Whoever is using it has to feel like that is their definition of luxury. In the guest room, I did say keep it plain because you don't have one person staying there consistently but you still want to invest in those beddings, you still want to make sure the presentation is top notch and you can see that we haven't even slacked on presentation in this room because just because it's a child, it doesn't mean that they don't appreciate a room that that is neat and very exciting to them. So how do I want to end this? I just want to point out how long it has been since the last time I've been on this property. It's been eight months down the line since we completed this project and walking through each one of those rooms, I can see that it's lasting. It's looking so incredible. It has not worn out anywhere and that just speaks to the quality of work that fine urban construction and interiors does because eight months is not a short time. This is a house that is well lived in. People walk through these um, hallways, people are in these rooms sleeping and you can see that everything looks as good as new and I don't think that there's any better way to testify about the quality of work that fine urban construction and interiors does than being able to come back to the projects you know months down the line and see the things are still holding up very well. Speaking of how long lasting and how good as new everything looks let's take a sneak peek at the bathroom. This is actually the kids bathroom so Let's see. It is looking incredible. The tiles are as glossy as we left them. And this being a kid's bathroom, you'd really expect to find a lot of mess. But the fact that all the materials that were used are holding up, they're very clean, which is important, making sure that everything you're using in the bathroom is easy to clean. Just, again, is a, another great example of how well things are holding up since we completed this project. You can see this still functions. If I was a kid in this room, it definitely, I feel like I would have done some damage that wouldn't be working. But now that we have come to the end of this video, I hope you guys have learned so much and you've understood the true definition of luxury when it comes to different rooms and what things you're gonna do. And since I'm doing this outro in the bathroom, another sense of luxury is having clean spaces. So even with all the other rooms you've seen, everything was top notch and very clean. So I hope you guys have gotten so much information from this. And if you have any questions, remember the comment section is always open. Ask all your questions. Let me know what videos you'd like to see. And you can only do that if you subscribe to our channel on YouTube, by the Oven Interiors. Make sure you share and turn on your notification bell. That way you'll know every single time we post a new video. But if YouTube is not necessarily your thing, we are are on all other social media platforms. I'm talking Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and we are also on TikTok, all at Fine Oven Interiors. My name is Cynthia Shaya from Fine Oven Interiors, and I'll see you guys in the next video.